what's going on y'all i hope you're having a wonderful day my name is jonathan yench and thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video yes the footage you just saw is real yes i am in fact sitting inside of my brand new well not brand new brand new to me but it's actually really old and used my toyota 4x4 camper and i'm extremely excited because i've been searching high and low for months now looking for the perfect van last weekend i happened to find a really sweet deal it was up in the mammoth lakes area my girlfriend and i took a trip up to mammoth and we snagged the camper and here i am filming inside of my new rig couldn't be more excited finally the time has come to you know leave the life of normalcy and start my like van life adventure. I don't know if it's considered van life because it's a camper, but my camper life, whatever, my nomadic lifestyle. And I've been wanting to do this for many years now. Finally, everything is just lining up and the pieces are starting to come together. Before I get into the details of the truck and like the camper and all of that, I just want to kind of hop out of here and I'm going to bring you guys along and show you a little tour of the inside of the actual camper. So let's go do that. Okay, so a quick disclaimer, it is kind of a mess in here, but that's because I literally just got it. I threw a couple things into it. I actually slept in it last night just to try it out. Yeah, it's definitely kind of dirty, so I apologize for that. All right, so this is gonna be a very informal tour. I'm definitely gonna make another video when I have things more set up to my liking. Like I said, this is a brand new rig to me, so I haven't had time to do anything. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the layout and then I'll just give you a little details about how this came to be, what my plans are, yada, 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 that kind of thing. Let's just get right into the tour. This is exactly what you see when you get into the camper. As you can see, there is more than enough space and it is quite old, but that is why I'm going to be renovating it and adding some modern touches. Over here to the left, we have my sink. I have both a manual hand pump faucet and also a regular faucet for if I'm camping somewhere that has water hookups. To the left of the door, I have a fire extinguisher and a paper towel holder, which will definitely come in handy. That is the paper towel holder, hopefully not the fire extinguisher. Down below that, there is a Coleman propane heater, which is controlled by a thermostat. This will keep the camper toasty in colder conditions. Not exactly something I considered a necessity, but it will definitely be a nice added bonus. Above the sink, there's a window with some seriously old and outdated curtains, which will definitely be replaced. Plenty of overhead storage up above here. I've got a three burner propane stove range, which is great since I'll be able to continue cooking those gourmet meals while living on the road. There is a fridge that currently isn't working, but I'm hoping I can get it repaired. Above that, there's some more storage. Here's a large closet that I'll probably use to hold all of my clothing items. Some more overhead storage on the other side of the camper. And here's my couch with a table where I'll be able to get work done. The couch also turns into a bed, which will be great if I ever have any friends with me. Up above the truck cab sits the main sleeping quarters. It fits a twin sized mattress and there's plenty of windows for light and ventilation. All right, so that's pretty much everything. And like I mentioned earlier, that was a very informal tour. I'm definitely gonna be doing a little bit of modifications and renovations. So once that is completely set up in the way that I like it, I'll definitely be doing a more thorough and in-depth tour. For now, I just wanted you guys to get an idea of what I bought and what to expect in the near future. Now that you guys have seen the actual camper itself, I just wanna quickly talk about like the truck and the, the deal that I got. And so essentially it is a 2000 toy Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive. It's the 3.4 V6 model. And the camper itself is a 1986 Slumber Queen. Yep, Slumber Queen, as you saw from the sick decals. I'm now a Slumber Queen. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, the camper is pretty vintage, as you can see, and obviously it has a pretty cool aesthetic to it already, but I definitely I definitely want to do some renovating and touch-ups to make things look a little bit more modern. I'm probably not gonna go as overboard as a lot of these new age sprinter vans and all the cool crazy vans that people are converting just because I wanna get it done with and out of the way, but I definitely will be painting and updating like the curtains and that kind of stuff, so look forward to that. The camper itself has a couple little quirks that I need to figure out before I hit the road. The sink isn't currently working. There is a water pump and there's a tank and everything seems to be where it needs to be, but I do need to connect the pump to the actual sink and the battery. And there's just a couple little wiring things that I need to figure out. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it works fine once I connect everything because the guy said that everything should be working. It's just a matter of like putting the cords in the right spot and that kind of thing. Also, the fridge isn't currently working. That one I'll probably bring into like a, an appliance maintenance store or something like that and see if they could repair this one. Hopefully, I don't have to buy a complete new one because those ones are kind of pricey. The stove actually works. There's no bathroom. That's that's it. Like I said, there are some quirks that I'm trying to hammer out before I hit the road in it. And I definitely do want to do some renovating. So expect videos of, of the renovation process in the really near future. And I'm super, I'm super excited because in the beginning, I never really expected to get a four wheel drive truck camper set up like this because they're just like way too expensive most of the time. But I think since this one has its quirks, it was a little bit cheaper. It was a lot more cheaper a lot more cheaper it was a lot cheaper and so it fit the budget and i pulled the trigger and i'm super stoked about it i'm gonna hit the road very soon hopefully hopefully sooner rather than later because you guys know how long maintenance stuff and renovations and all that kind of stuff takes a lot longer than you could ever anticipate so hopefully that's not the case here but i won't be surprised if it is after all of that stuff i'm gonna be hitting the road i'm gonna start my nomadic journey finally and i'm super super excited i'm excited to bring you guys along i know that it's gonna be so much fun make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed if you want to check out those kinds of videos in the future i think i'm gonna end the video here thank you guys for tuning in sorry if it was kind of a mess of a video i just needed to throw something together so you guys know what's going on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go out there, go on some adventures, beat the status quo, live life, do all that fun stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.